Okay, so now in this video we will add a code in which the player will perform the parkour actions according to the height. So if we get back to Visual Studio Code and then click on this parkour controller script right here as you can see we are by manually adding the jump up animation name and then all of that code okay so we actually don't want that because now as you can see we have created this jump up and high jump up parkour actions okay so by using a code we will just select from these two parkour action and if the object height matches the jump up parkour action okay then it will play this jump up animation okay and if it matches the high jump up then it will play the high jump up okay so we don't have to type this code again and again for the jump up and then for the high jump up and for the other parkour actions in the future videos okay so for that what we're gonna do is right after this animator let's add a header by the name of parkour action area okay you can name this whatever you want and in here we will create a public list okay and this list will only take the parkour action type of data okay and let's just name this as parkour action as well or parkour action since this is a list and we will be adding many parkour actions okay then right here in this if condition whenever we found something that is on the obstacle layer right here we will go through this list okay and find the perfect animation for that object okay so we will say for each the let's just change the variable name to action and the collection will be this parkour actions okay so parkour actions so now we will just go through all of the actions in simple words let me tell you that right here we will be typing the code okay not right here but on the uh, new parkour action script that to check the minimum and maximum height of the animation okay we want to check that first of all and then according to that minimum and maximum height we will play the specific action for that object let's create a public pool by the name of check if available and in here the first parameter it will take will be this obstacle info type so we'll say obstacle info and then hit data it is actually hit info okay so instead of the head data it may change it to head info or whatever you name it then the next parameter will be the player transform so we will say transform player okay so right here we will get the height of the object or obstacle in the environment so in basic words we will get the height of that object by subtracting or minus them by the y position of the height hit found okay in the hit info by the y position of the player so we will say hit info dot height hit found actually not height hit found but this uh, height info okay we will subtract it by the y of the height info so dot point dot y so as I told you will minus it by the player dot position dot y okay and 
this all will be equals to a float by the name of check height okay so now we will say that if this check height is less than the minimum height or and if it is greater not and or okay so if the check height is less than the minimum height or greater than the maximum height then we will not do anything but if it is between this minimum and maximum height then we will perform a parkour action according to that height okay so we will say that if the check height actually so check height is less than the minimum height or if the check height is greater than the maximum height then we will return false or else we will return true that is it okay so now if we get back to the parkour controller script okay and make sure that you copy the class name from this new parkour action script and right here paste it right there okay new parkour action and also change its name to new parkour action and right here as well because we named the script as new parkour action okay I forgot to add the new right there okay so just do that and actually let me make this new small that is it okay so now we have checked for the uh, height right here in this check if available so now right here we have this action so we will check if the action is possible so we will say action dot and now we will call this check if available okay so if it is available or you can say possible then we will simply perform it and with that if we get back right here as you can see it will get the hit info as well and also the player transform so we will add round brackets and for the hit info we will pass the hit hit info and the transform since this parkour control script will be attached to the player so we can just simply use transform then and guys actually change this from hit info to hit data actually because right here we do run hit data okay so make sure that you do that right there and then in this if condition now we want to perform the parkour action so right here in the perform parkour action it will actually take a new parkour action by the name of action okay we will name it as action and it will take this action which will be of type this new parkour action okay then right here we will cut this from here and paste it right here and now as you can see this perform parkour action now need this action which is of type of new parkour action so in here we will pass this action okay so we will say action so this action will be passed to this enumerator type method or function okay so if we found any action okay we will just simply play that action now and as you can see this is a list and in the list there will be more than one actions and we have added a for loop right here so this for loop will go through all of that actions and we actually don't want that so whenever we find any action okay then after playing or doing that action we will simply break the loop so now right here instead of typing the each of the animation name right here okay for example the jump up we just now want to use this animation name so as you can see it is a private variable so in order to access this from other scripts so right here we will create a property so that we can use it anywhere so we will say public string 
and let's now name this as animation name and now as you can see the a right here is small but right here it is capital okay so make sure that you do that as well okay and then it will be equals to animation name that is it now if we get back to the parkour controller script right here now instead of this we will type action dot animation name now after this for example if in our parkour action we type this animation name wrong okay for example if the jump j is small okay so we will not know that if the animation name is un incorrect or not so in order to check for that if the animation name is correct or not for that we will create a if condition right here and in this if condition we will say that if the animation state dot is name is not similar to the action dot animation name then what we will do in the console we will print a message that animation name is incorrect so this animation state dot is name means that on the base layer as you can see we have this jump up and high jump up so if this name is not equals to this animation name okay which we added right here in the parkour action if these two are not similar then we will print this message and that is it so now just save the script get back to unity and right here on the player if you click on it let me minimize these two and open up the parkour controller script right here as you can see for now we just have these two parkour animations so we will set the array size to 2 and in each of them let's assign them one by one the first one is jump up then high jump up that is it and now if we play the game Okay, let me first of all click on game click on gizmos let me move out the camera like that okay so that we can see it right here okay so turn on the gizmos let's play the game let's click on the player so that we can see everything that is going on with the player okay so now if we get closer to this box okay and press the shift button as you can see it is playing the jump up animation because the jump up animation height matches this box height okay as you can see so it means that this box height is between 0 0.2 and 0 0.9 okay so now for example if you want to jump to this table okay this table height is more than 0 0.9 I think okay so as you can see the high jump up is 0 0.7 and 1.2 so now if we try to press the shift button right here it will play the high jump up as you can see but if you notice it our player can't get on top of this table and this is due to the player character controller okay if we try to jump as you can see the character controller is in the way and not allowing the player to get on top of the table okay so the fix for this will be whenever we will be playing any type of parkour action we want the character controller of the player to be turned off okay and whenever we played the parkour action we want to turn it back on okay but we will do that in the next video so in this video you can now see that we can play different parkour actions so if you want to add many more parkour actions okay for different types of height you can simply do that create a new parkour action and then in that parkour action you will be needing a animation and then the minimum and maximum height for that and then when you have the animation and everything set up just simply add it right here in the new parkour action okay so in this way you can add many parkour animations okay so with this video done 
I will see you guys in the next one.